It's gorgeous outside. Blue skies uh, out there this afternoon. I know there's a lot of snow lovers, and I'm hearing from them uh, <laughs> that, that want the snow. They need the snow. They're blaming they the you. Air. Yeah, we still have a long ways to go uh, this winter. Hopefully things turn around for them. All right, this is a live look at the Rock Snow Park where, yep, there's still snow, and the ski hills are still open across southeastern Wisconsin. I've been watching a couple kids uh, doing some snowboarding out there this afternoon. Uh, current temperature in Franklin, though, 41 degrees. We're melting away the snow that we do have. Again, Again, uh, we have temperatures this uh, early afternoon in the 40s. Racine at 44. There's downtown Milwaukee, and we have a current temperature there of 46 degrees. 46 degrees already this afternoon, and we're going to warm up a couple more degrees across the area. Uh, you can see temperatures are in the upper 30s away from Lake Michigan, where we had a cooler start, and there's still a bit more snow on the ground northwest of Milwaukee, so uh, that's also having an effect on the temperatures there. Let's go through the weather headlines. Again, feeling like spring. <laughs> It feels like March, maybe even April. We've had worse days in April, that's for sure. Uh, feeling like spring. Fall develops as we head into tonight. That's something that we're going to be concerned about. We'll be watching the next couple of hours and monitoring that as we head into the evening. I think we could get some patchy, dense fog in areas that do have a snowpack on the ground. Staying mild as we head into the weekend. Today's probably the warmest day, but we're going to stay in the 40s this weekend. Storm 4 Max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. All is quiet. Let's widen the view here. You got a few more clouds working across far northern Wisconsin. So let's go through our future forecast here. As we go through time this afternoon, lots of sunshine. There's an area of high pressure positioned down to the southwest of us, and that's going to keep our weather quiet here uh, through the weekend. Now, as we head on into tonight and tomorrow morning, you see this area of cloud cover here. That's actually fog. That's going to be low lying clouds and some fog developing here early tomorrow morning. So if you got travel plans tomorrow morning, you will encounter some fog. I think the fog does go away, though, by the noon hour in the afternoon afternoon, lots of sunshine. Eventually tomorrow night and into Sunday, a weak cold front drops down. That will bring more clouds for us on Sunday. No precipitation and slightly cooler temperatures with the north wind. I think we top out around 40 degrees on Sunday. Now as we head on into Monday, we're going to keep an eye on that area of low pressure to the west and that eventually is going to give us rain, not snow. Yes, rain in the forecast for Monday, not snow. 48 degrees for your high temperature today, sunny and mild. For tonight, we get the fog developing, I would say, after 10 o'clock. 32 degrees for your overnight low temperature. Here's your seven-day forecast on Saturday. Partly cloudy skies. Again, in the afternoon, though, more sun. You got the fog in the morning and then the sun in the afternoon. On Sunday, more clouds, 40 degrees. On Monday, again, maybe late Sunday night and into Monday, we'll start to see that rain move in here. 44 degrees for your high temperature on Monday. On Tuesday, a few flurries, no accumulating snow, 38 degrees. On Wednesday, partly cloudy, 32, the coolest day on the seven day forecast. And then we work our way back up to around 40 degrees with a mostly sunny sky on Thursday, at least. All right, not a bad week. Thanks, Brian.